All right, welcome back guys. So in this tutorial, we're gonna talk about how we can integrate Patch NiFi with Apache Kafka. I'm not gonna go over explaining what Kafka is, nor I'm gonna go over uh, installing Kafka in this tutorial. If you wanna see how you can set up Kafka locally, please follow the link in the description where I demonstrate how to set up Apache Kafka locally. Also, you wanna make sure that you have your Offset Explorer, in this case 2.3, install this is easy to visualize your kafka local installation your brokers your topics and your consumer that you have aligned just to keep you out of the dark and also make sure you join our discord channel here we talk about patch nifi topics and we go over its latest feature we also share ideas and our current project and if you have question feel free to drop them in all right so let's jump into our tutorial so first, we're going to start to see how we can write to a Kafka topic. First, we're going to generate some flows. In this case, we're going to generate some random user ID, username and email as a JSON payload. And we're going to use a publish Kafka processor. So in this case, uh, let's go over the options and see what are the parameters that he requires. First, we have the Kafka brokers or where the Kafka brokers are installed. You remember when you install it locally, the default installation is going to be on localhost and port 9092. Um, the security protocol is going to be plain text or token authentication is set to false. SSL context, we're not going to set it up because we're not going to use an SSL nor certificate. The only thing we want to check here is the topic name. In my case, I chose the topic name to be demo and the guarantee delivery. The delivery guarantee in this case is going to be guarantee replicated delivery. We have a couple of options here. We have best effort. We have guaranteed single node delivery and guaranteed delivery. So we're going to go for guarantee replicated delivery. Failure strategy, route to failure. In this case, we can route it to a failure connection or do a rollback. Let's keep it route to failure. Use transaction true, uh, we're not going to set a prefix, attributes to send us headers, we're going to leave it as it is, the encoding is going to be UTF-8, Kafka key we're going to leave empty, and key attributes encoding UTF-8, maximum request size, so the maximum request size is the size in byte, corresponds to Kafka max request size, and the default value is 1 meg, the acknowledgement wait time is going to be 5 second, max method of wait time 5 second, partitioner class, default partitioner, we have Rome Robin, default partition and expression language partition. This expression language partition is going to be a partition property that you have to set. For now, let's go for the default partitioner. Partitions, we're going to leave it as empty and compression type none. All right, so let's go ahead and write some data to this particular frame. Before we write this, what I'll do, I'll open a terminal command line and let's start a consumer. We're not going to use the read Kafka. Let's do it raw. First, let's run a single record. And uh, let's set this publish. We see right now we are already getting the message. So actually, let's make it faster. So what I will do here, we'll set it for every one second. So let's start it. So you can see that the messages arrive and they're written in Kafka right now. If we were to go to our Explorer, to Offset Explorer, and we go to our Topics, and we go to Topics Demo, double click on it and click on this uh, play button. You see here, we start to get our messages in. Now let's run again. We have, let's see how many we have so far, 19. So this one's there constantly going. All right, so let's stop this one. So we demonstrate as far how we can write to Kafka. We wrote 35 messages. What are the other options to write to a Kafka topic? So in this example, what we're gonna do, we're gonna provide it with the list. So the same payload, but in this case, it's going to be a list. So we have four items here. We're going to use a record writer in this case. So we have published Kafka record. The public Kafka record has similar configuration in terms of the extra parameter, but it has few um, differences here. It has a record reader and a record writer. So the record reader here, pretty much, uh, imagine that you're getting parquet data or you're getting CSV data or you're getting Avro data. You have the ability to create a new service using one of the read the controller services. You see here you have a Grok, CSV, C, EF reader, Avro, Syslog, all types of goodies here. So in our example, we set up a JSON tree reader with the default setup. Here, we just say in first schema, we don't care, we enable it. And then we have a JSON record writer. The record writer will use the incoming schema, basically coming from the JSON tree reader, and he will write to Kafka. 
For this example, we have a topic called demo record. So if you say here, let's run it once. See, we have a single record and let's start the publish Kafka. But a single record in a flow. But if we're going to go into our topics and we look at the demo record, let's click on it and I'll click refresh. So you see right now we have four messages in our Kafka. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Then we send him a single, uh, a single payload. That single payload was read through the intermediary of the record reader and record writer, and was applied as a single set of uh, as a as a as a set of four messages. So if you look in the queue and we go over the attributes, you see that the message count committed to Kafka it's four. How do we read data? All right, so we saw how we read at the command line using the consumer. Um, but we don't want to do that, you know, we want to use NiFi to its extent. So we want to consume using a NiFi processor. So the way you do it, it's simple. We have the consume Kafka processor. This consume Kafka has the same properties as a previous processor. We have the Kafka brokers, the same connections and parameters. And this time we have the topic name that we want to read from. And you have to give your consumer a group ID. Basically, it's the identifier. A group ID is used to identify consumers that are within the same consumer group. Response to a Kafka group ID property. And an important thing here is the offset reset. Basically, this offset reset tells Kafka where to start to give us record from. Basically, um, we the earliest means give me data from the beginning of time. Latest uh, automatically resets the offset to the latest. So for this option, we're going to keep it as earliest. The key attribute encoding is going to be UTF-8. Separate by key, we're not going to touch it. And message header encoding UTF-8. All right, let's apply this one. And for this one, uh, we're going to consume from the demo record. So we should get four records out. We can see that we get our messages in the queue. So if we with the list, we have four messages. Right, so that's how we read those using a consume Kafka. But also we have a consume Kafka record. So the same approach is writing using a record reader and record writer. We're going to consume from topic demo. And we're going to tell it, okay, I want you to read the incoming data using this record reader. This is really useful when, for example, you have a schema registry or a confluence schema register, something that it pretty much handles the schema in between your um, Kafka producer and Kafka consumers. And in not in all the cases, this will be a JSON. You know, in most of the cases will be an Avro or will be another type that will be there. So you will require to have a schema. Schema. In our case, we're going to use infer schema. Basically, uh, it's going to read the payload and it's going to infer the schema. If you would have a schema registry, it would look something like this. So let's disable this processor. So it would be something like this. You're going to have to have a schema reference, in this case, Confluent uh, schema reference. And this will be a service that you'll have to create. Where is my schema re registry, basically? So it has going to have to be a service. You can either have a ever schema registry, which is going to be local, a Confluent schema registry, or a Horton Works schema registry. So if you go here and do a create, and if you navigate to it, and the configuration is pretty straightforward. You have your location and SSL, if you communicate through SSL or not, and some other information, which we're not going to cover in this tutorial. Delete this one, go back to our configuration and change it to infer schema. Apply, enable. And now let's consume Kafka records. So this is going to be running maybe five seconds. Let's move it to two. So, um, so let's apply. Okay. And run. Right. So we can see here we have a single message right now in our flow. It's going to come as a list of messages. All right, so we saw how we can write to Kafka, read from Kafka. Now, the final part is going to be how we can write to a Kafka sync. But what is a Kafka sync? Basically, we have this processor called put record that interacts with um, syncs, how we call them. So basically, a sync, it's a controller service that will connect to a particular Kafka, Kafka broker. And this will be used as our sync. We are required to have a reader as the incoming. Um, and in the Kafka configuration sync, let's go over it with configuration. 
basically it's similar in configuration as we have with the um, kafka write uh, record but in this case we only have the record writer here we don't have the record reader in the same setup in this case we're going to write to a topic name called sync topic so let's go ahead and push some records so if you go to generate flow file we have the same setup where we have four records all right so let's run this one this is going to run every one second and we see we have nine records and let's start the put record put record what he added nine records in and if we're gonna look at our sync we see we have nine records into our kafka topic so basically this is a wrap on how you can communicate with uh, kafka in apache nifi you guys are gonna find the link in the description with where you can download this uh, templates and um, if this was useful consider subscribing or even join our discord channel where we can have a chat about nifi i see you guys in the next tutorial